Hey, welcome back. You know, um, we talk a lot on the show about mainstream superhero comics, and I make no apologies for that. Great comics are great comics, regardless of the genre. So, uh, but today we're going to talk about one that's a little bit different, and I've got the all-black background pattern in honor of the sort of goth subject matter of Snow, Glass, Apples by Neil Gaiman, adapted into comics by Colleen Duran. So let's check it out today on Comic Book News. Hey, welcome back. Today, Snow Glass Apples. Uh, It's a brand new hardcover. It's an adaptation of a work originally written by Neil Gaiman. Now, this is weird. It's not a comic written by Neil Gaiman, per se, where he broke down how it should be put into panels. This was originally a prose short story and had a a sort of um, inversion of uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, the classic fairy tale, where Snow White is really something quite darker and more evil, and the heroine in this case is the evil stepmother. So um, if this just sounds like a sort of like modern twist on a uh, uh, on an old fairy tale, it's something a little bit more than that, and, and and we'll see. This is a really dark, very adult fairy tale adaptation. Now Colleen Duran, the artist. Uh, adapted this, took the short story, turned it into comics, and then illustrated it as comics herself, right? It's not illustrated prose. We'll see it in a second. She has a, a, an extended section in the back where she talks about her artistic influences and, and, and the work that she did on this. And um, the art style is based on the work of Irish artist Harry Clark, right? Here's a drawing of his, but he's, uh, he's known as a stained glass artist. I had never seen this stuff before. This is some of the most gorgeous, beautiful looking stained glass I've ever seen in my life. And I can, I automatically, as soon as I saw this, I can see um, where Duran uh, took influence from it and took it right into the comics, right? So without further ado, uh, let's stop gabbing about it and let's go right into the million dollar comics cam. Ooh, I've got the hardcover right here. I just read this was sold out and went into second printing already. Um, I got my copy for half price uh, because of this little ding on the corner. Yeah, got it at uh, Northtown Books in my hometown of Arcata, where they have a tremendous comics uh, graphic novel selection, better than most comic book stores, certainly any in the area. Um, this is a beautiful book. Let's got, dive right into it, right? Um, published by Dark Horse. Um, as you can see, story... Stories and Words by Neil Gaiman, Adaptation and Art by Colleen Duran. This is kind of an interesting distinction, right? Because this was not a work written for comics. Um, But as you can see, oh man, it's a gorgeously beautiful adaptation into comics. And this is the story. This is our our heroine, who's um, really our, our wicked stepmother, right? In this case, she met, you know, a beautiful man, a king who she fell in love with who had uh, a, a daughter from a previous wife. Uh, the, the, da- the wife died in childbirth, but the daughter was something very dark and evil, right? So Snow White, in our case, is some kind of succubus, vampiress type creature. And, and it's made pretty apparent, um, it's made apparent very quickly to her mother when she you know takes a bite out of her. And let's take a second and look at these comics. Look at this page. You're going to notice on this this page in particular, this this spread, there are no traditional comic panels, certainly no squares. It's divided into moment-to-moment action using this sort of device of the foreground arm, or in this case, the, the cape. Beautiful composition. Sort of reminds me of, the, you know, the stained glass. No no doubt there's it's, it's influenced directly by that, but also sort of the work of like P. Craig Russell and, and some other artists who probably drew inspiration as well from Clark and, and similar sources. So we can see that the, the, the king is actually, you know, been over years systematically drained by his succubus daughter. And so the mother has realized the, the, the true nature, um, but too late as, you know, he, he dies soon after. And let's just look at this beautiful art. I mean, if this was just an illustrated book, you'd say, oh my gosh, what a great illustrator. But the fact that she's doing this, frankly, magical panel type work, the, the transitions, the, 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 the flow of the page, it still reads like a comic. 
Um, she goes into the technique and in, 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 in the back of this book on how difficult this was to do. Um, and so we can see she uh, she basically the stepmother says, you know, my mistake was not killing her. I should have just killed her. Be, but what I did instead is, you know, I used my magic power. She's more of like a witchy witch, right? And so she created these, uh, she created the magic apples that she used uh, to, to, to basically get her stepdaughter uh, to go to sleep, right? And uh, she, uh, as we'll see, is just an evil a creature of pure evil, right? And some of this work is just beautiful. This is probably my favorite page. Um, just look at the beauty of this here. Taking the apples, making the magic spell on the apples to, to, to poison uh, Snow White. Finally, you know, getting her put to sleep so she's not a danger anymore. And she meets the sort of Prince Charming, right? In this case, she's the, the the prince has come to visit the the um, the stepmother, and who decides, you know, for, in a moment of weakness, to bed him. Right? She's she, the the husband's dead now, so she's gonna bed the prince. But he basically can't get aroused unless she just lays completely motionless, like she's dead. And uh, he realizes that she realizes there's something really wrong with this dude, but says, "Ooh, I might know the perfect gal for you." Right? So. He immediately heads out to where the, the local dwarf merchants had assembled these crystals as sort of the glass coffin of uh, Snow White. And basically, you know, he, he comes in and, you know, did we ever really believe it was a magic, just a magic kiss? When that prince came in and found this sort of Snow White coma chick in the woods surrounded by these dwarves, did he, his first instinct was really to kiss her? What else did he do to her? This book gets a little more explicit about what happens. So, you know, we get to see the rise to power now of the Witch Queen Snow White, and we get to see this all how this all basically plays out in a, as an inversion. It's not really a happy ending uh, for for our heroine necessarily, um, but man, what a beautiful, gorgeous book and a fun read. And th these notes, these backup notes in the back by Duran show by Duran rather show her sort of artistic process and she really goes uh, into some detail about uh, her, not just her influences but the approach she used to adapt this work into comics this is really a special thing you know this is not uh, guys if you're if you came here for X-Men content and that's all you care about this probably is not the comic for you but you know um, if you or someone special in your life like maybe like your wife is somebody uh, or, or your significant other, uh, somebody who appreciates sort of um, this beautiful, dark take on classic fairy tales. You know the kind of person I'm talking about, right? There's plenty of them out there. Well, if uh, you like that book, then I think Snow Glass Apples is the book for you, right? Check it out. Uh, thank you for checking out this video. And also, hey, just thanks in general for watching and supporting this channel. It's because of the work uh, that we do here that you've been supporting that it's really given me like just new inspiration to dive deeper into comics than I've ever uh, dove before and to uh, sort of bring some revelations up from the bottom and, and, and share them with the rest of the world. This is the beauty of YouTube. This is the beauty of the modern age. Man, I'm, I'm getting really excited here, but there's a reason because I love comics and I love doing this show. So thanks again for supporting and Thanks especially for watching.